what's good guys welcome to Belmondo TV it's your boy JC back with another video guys I hope you're well and um, looking after yourselves thank you as always for following the, following the journey and um, being part of the growth um, please make sure you like subscribe and um, follow the journey you know maybe we can all help each other as you guys have seen videos I've done um, this is my journey um, this is my journey and it's a long process it's been a long process I'm here on the journey I'm enjoying the challenges ahead of me and there's a reason why I'm on this journey and it's the reason why there's a title how do you get your girlfriend back now this is a question that you see quite a lot of and someone actually I've got quite a few questions someone asked me about relationships and 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 how to get the woman back um, I'm not a guru I'm not an expert don't claim to be I can only tell you from my experience and which is quite recent and very recent and I'll be very frank this is not I've got no I'm not going to sell you any courses or anything any tricks there is no tricks this is the reality and this is facts okay the pain that you feel when you lose someone that you love is unbearable it really is unbearable and I have been through it it was a struggle for me I was in so much pain I was having panic panic attacks anxieties fear I was kind of broken as a man it's the hardest pain you can you, you, you can imagine because what you're forgetting that during that period of time what you you did you put everything into that relationship you put your heart and soul into that relationship you kind of forgotten who you are as a person and you relied on the emotional regulation to be done by that person whatever you went through the day-to-day -day struggles in life the memories everything was evolved um, evolved around that person so you can imagine when that's not there anymore you know you you plan out your future with that person you know you visualized everything with that person family kids a house or dog or whatever that was your future and that bam taken away and how do you deal with it believe you me i know i'm not gonna bull bullshit you know i know exactly the pain how it feels i went through it sleepless nights couldn't eat couldn't sleep it was the hardest time but let me tell you something it's the best thing that could ever happen to you it's the best thing that could ever happen to you because the problem we have and hear this properly right hear this carefully whatever pain you're going through right now that's fine feel it indulge in it cry do whatever you need to do in private forget about chasing your girlfriend or your ex do whatever you need to do in terms of crying screaming whatever you need to do do it in private do not disclose it whatever you need to share share it with the closest people to you your friends not with that with that person but i can the reason why i'm saying it's the best thing that could ever happen to you because we've all made the mistake the mistakes that when we get into relationships 
we literally put everything into that relationship our heart and soul we lose ourselves we don't even make time for friends we we'll, we we'll lose our purpose we think what we have is everything you are my everything i know people say that you know you are my everything that's a massive red flag but most of us are naive and we fall into that thing where we lose ourselves we forget who we are love is all we need to survive in the world guys the reason why I say this is the best thing that could ever happen to you because we get comfortable the biggest problem that we have in society we when you get have you noticed that when you get into a relationship you go through the honeymoon period and you enjoy the apps and you start to get comfortable really comfortable too comfortable to the point where you're real, you're, you don't make an effort on how you look you don't keep fit you don't work on the things that are vital to keep you on your toes to, and to keep that person on their toes any relationship now you can't get comfortable and I said it before in a previous video you're only as good as what you did yesterday and the day before you can't make the mistakes of being too comfortable that you let yourself go you let your purpose go you let your drive go you put your world into that one person that relationship not thinking if something happened what would that do we don't think of that we just kind of indulge in the relationship everything is about that relationship it's the biggest problem so the reason I'm saying that it's the best thing trust me the pain you're feeling feel it but I'm telling you this it's the best thing that can ever happen to you because you needed a wake up call you needed the, the wake up call the chances of getting your person back there's always a chance I'm not saying you're going to get them back that's not for me I didn't get mine back and I didn't try the reason why I didn't try because I've learned from I'm learning from that mistakes for once in my life I had to look at it in terms of okay this is what life is about what do I need to do it's not even about getting that person back it's not even about anything else who am I what are the mistakes that are made in that relationship what are the mistakes that that person made in the relationship what could I have done better that was the first thing I had to do because I had to wake up and, and really sm smell the coffee there's always a chance there's always I'm telling you this there's always a chance and you just have to remember one thing that forget about chasing your girlfriend your wife whatever for, for, forget it it's gone right here right now you're sitting there right now in pain I'm telling you right now it's the best thing that could ever happen to you it's your chance to bring out the best version of you they can always come back if that relationship was good and it went a bit downhill later on they can always come back unless they cheated or done something drastic and you don't need them in your life they're toxic that's fine but if it's something that it was on you and it's a good person you left then you've got to look in the mirror you've got to forget all about them and look in the mirror because there's always I'm telling you this is always a chance to get them back if you want to get them back and it starts with you you need to go back to basics 
and I say this on this channel because this channel is mostly also about mental health traumas healing you have to you have to there's too many people going to relationships to relationships not working on themselves not healing the trauma guys so many people work you know going from relationship to relationship not working on their traumas not working on their problems it's almost like you've left this relationship here with problems you jump into the next one with the same problems and then you jump into the next one so you're kind of building these these problems that's never going to stop the cycle and you you think there's something wrong with the world or that the people that you're you're meeting the blame on the, the, the blame is on other people not yourself you're not looking at yourself in the mirror no one's looking in the mirror it seems like no one's looking in the mirror everyone's trying to find excuses everyone want to find a reason why the relationship is not working they are not to blame let me tell you something the reason why the best thing this is the best thing that could ever happen to you because you needed a wake-up call you needed something to kick you up your backside to motivate you to make you realize that you was taking something for granted like I said it may not have been your fault but I'm, I'm talking purely if you was with a good person that did everything right for you and you took it for granted you got comfortable you lost yourself you lost your drive your purpose you stopped working on yourself mentally physically emotionally relationships are hard work they are very hard they're not easy and you have to be mentally prepared for it and if you're going to be a provider you need to be on your purpose you need to build that security you need to build that environment like I said in my previous video if you don't build that environment it's going to come back and bite you you're going to enjoy the honeymoon period when everything's butterflies and fantasies and the grass is green on the other side the feel good factor and when that goes reality kicks in that's when you find out the reality relationships are hard work guys and the best thing that could ever happen to you is the breakup that person leaving you you know like I said embrace the pain cry but it's not the end of the world I'm telling you this it's not the end of the world whatever you're feeling now use the pain use the suffering that you're going through right now to motivate you to become your, the best version of yourself I'm telling you the best thing you can do is focus on yourself want you back chase you back get you back to get whatever you need back you need to get you back to get whatever you need back that's the reality because otherwise you're gonna make mistakes after mistakes you don't need it you need to focus on yourself be selfish go to the gym work on your physical work on your mental your trauma the problem that you're carrying the reason why the relationship didn't work the reason why you was insecure the reason why you had issues trust issues the reason why you had abandonment issues you need to work on it guys you're not going to get anything back and if you and even if you fight for it and you get it back how long is that going to last because like i said most people nowadays and no one's working on themselves they're going from relationship to relationship to relationship you're not solving anything so get up feel that pain that pain wake up 
Don't worry about the rest. The rest will fall into place. I believe, believe you me, the rest will come. Just find you. Get yourself right. Find your purpose. Go back to finding out who you are, your hobbies, your friends, the life. Build a castle. If your goals is to have a family, beautiful family, whatever for the future, build a castle, a safe environment. So when you're bringing in the people you want to bring in, it's going to be an amazing growth. Guys, I can't stress it any other way. It starts with your mental. Get your mental health in place. Your emotionally, physically, get that in place. Purpose, provider. Get your business, get your job, money. You don't have to be a multimillionaire, but get the secure work on you first before you're even thinking about getting someone back. Otherwise, you're just going to go around the circle. You five foot, you're going to cry, you're going to beg, you're going to cry, you're going to beg, and you're starting to look stupid. Don't worry about them. Believe you me, I'm telling you this right now. Don't worry about them. The pain is going to be there and it's going to make it hard. But you finding yourself again and finding your purpose, it will change everything. Guys, thank you so much. Please follow the journey. I'm doing what I needed to do. This is a real. Go back and watch my videos. This is my growth. <clears throat> Follow the process, guys. Please make sure you like, subscribe, look after yourself. Number one, love.